Google has slowly been releasing a brand new image generation model that is pretty amazing. In fact, it's one of the first times I've been kind of wowed and petrified well, since I would say the first time I saw Mid Journey 6 and that is called Image FX and not everyone has access to it. You need to go on the waiting list by going to Labs Google and then clicking on this Image FX button here. You sign up and you'll get an email when they tell you, well, you've got access to try image effects. They've got a lot of things that they're about to release, by the way, a video FX, which is creating videos from a prompt that looks incredibly high quality. But at the moment, the image effects produces images like this. And to be honest, if I didn't generate this myself, I wouldn't be able to tell that this was a fake image. There's a few reasons for that. One, the hair quality is unreal, but two, I try this same prompt many times in, with different image generation models. And the one thing that even Mid Journey gets wrong all the time is yerba mate. This is a tea that we drink in Chile, in Argentina, and other parts of South America. And I find that this specific tea that is this one here, if I Google it, for example, it needs to be drunk with this specific gourd. And all the time, all the image generation models up until now get this incredibly wrong. It's either just a T or whatever. So the specificity of this image generation model is for me quite incredible. Not only is the hair detail incredible, I think, but even with another one, the snow quality, I think is incredible. The details is unreal. And the beautiful thing about this, that if we start another one, and let's just say I'm feeling lucky and it'll create one for us because I'm a little bit lazy, you'll see that it'll start thing putting these things together and kind of guiding you through the items that you could change to vary this prompt for next time for example a close-up photo of a spider spinning its web next time we could change to crawling flying jumping which is a little bit terrifying but i mean the quality of this is a bit next level i think just personally it's kind of above mid journey let's um change to crawling and um, let's put in as well the 35 millimeter film and maybe petrify ourselves even more so. And again, whilst petrifying, it is beautiful and quite amazing. Um, now enough of spiders, let's stop that and do some humans because often image generation programs can't get hands correctly. So let's do a gym workout maybe. Let's go for something that isn't so petrifying. A man at the gym is working out. He's doing a deadlift. I want to see if he can get the difference of the actual exercise. Uh, he seems to be putting a lot of effort. We can see that he's sweating a lot and, and the image is focusing on the details of his skin. The weights on the bar are red. I want to see if we can get all those parameters correct. And again, if we keep an eye on this prompt right here, I really like the user experience of it because it kind of already incentivizes you to like, hey, try this again, but maybe change these things. and. Personally, for me, it's a much nicer user experience than it is when you're using Midjourney. Now, for the most part, this didn't get this everything correctly, but we can see the close-up of his skin here. That looks quite right. And he, this guy definitely is doing a deadlift. Uh, not doing a deadlift here. Well, could be doing a deadlift. It's just another one above here. I've done another one here that seems to be working a lot better and it's quite amazing because I stuffed up the prompt but it still understood what to do. A woman working out, there's a woman working out in a gym. They're doing squats. We can see grain weights in a plates on the bar. The man seems to be sweating a lot. So I understood that there were two people and putting a lot of efforts whilst lifting the bar. So it's put the woman and the man, two people with green weights and we can see in fact the man's putting a lot of <laughs> loading a lot of effort while he's sweating quite amazing you can lock and unlock the seed of it but i think i've reached my limit because it's not having a good time the whole thing here is understanding that there are image generation models coming out left right and center but the one from google at the moment i think i'm loving the most the one thing is that you can't do you can't set the parameters of the photo of the length and the width so they all have to be one by one and square for now which is fine i'm sure this will be an update for later on and you can also edit the image. So for example, here we can try and see if we can change the plate to a red plate. And generate the edit much like you can with Canva and much like you can with the Discord version of Mid Journey.
And there you go. Now, which has changed to a red plate. Not as good with the editing the image, but still not bad at all. The most amazing thing out of this is that they're giving this out completely for free. I don't know if it'll be free for the entire public, but for at least for the trusted tester, I don't know why they trusted me, but you can test these images quite amazing. I have been pretty, oh, with the testing as well, sorry, they give you a couple of parameters that you can choose from, but all of them seem pretty good. This is from Google Labs, labs.google. I would suggest you check it out. They've got some cool applications that you can start using today, like the Notebook, LM. I've done a video on that. Um, you can do music effects as well, where you can generate a beat or a 30 second instrumental out of a prompt. Uh, if you want me to do a video on that, just let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna learn how to use all these tools actually usefully, in a useful way to be able to rank your website number one or to make really cool automations, you should check out our online community, the AI Ranking and Automation Hub. If not, and you found this video useful, give me a like and a subscribe. And again, I would suggest you go check out the AI Test Kitchen or type in labs.google because they've got some cool things you can test out. Cheers.